Hello guys, and today it's another review and it's on the Recon Mark II. I was supposed to film this video after the I'm back video. Of course I could have, so yeah, sorry. And also after that I got the new blaster and I reviewed it and oh my god my Volt review got like 700 views. Maybe it's like not much, but for me, it's Ooh, that's like a ton. So I was like, fast, I have to make a video about this so that my algorithm doesn't go bad. The problem is, the weather was really bad. It was raining that I couldn't, I couldn't film a video because I had to film outside. So yeah, that video was... Okay, that video and this one video is probably like going to get like 40 views, 60 at most. Anyways, the Mark II is the Recon, Reskin, Reimagining, Rework. And it uh, it's Recon. I'm probably going to put a picture of it if my Wi-Fi works. My Wi-Fi is, for some reason, basically non-existent at the moment, literally. What the frick? Anyways, <laughs> this was uh, the Recon Mark, the Recon is the, basically, I think, the first top grind neck fed glass, right? I'm not sure, but I think it is basically the most popular, which was basically the same as this, just looked differently. But it was outdated because of the retaliator, so they made this one just to get some money. <laughs> and yeah, uh, this was given by my friend, which it was broken. I fixed it mostly. I'll tell you more in the conclusion. But yeah, it works. So subscribe, of course. But uh, yeah, let's go on to the review. The first thing and spicer is at the front, which we're going to take off all the attachments first. This is the core blaster, front, and strike barrel lock. Good. The problem is there's no indent for the like thingy locks in, so I thought oh my god it's going to like spin up very easily. No. It's nice, it, it's like it has a different kind of attachment mechanism and if I put on some other attachments like let's say the eagle point barrel, it works greatly but uh, looks kind of ridiculous. Uh, at the top we have an end strike barrel lag, end strike rail. Tactical rail and strike barrel rail. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, rail here for like flashlight, bayonet. But what would I do if I could have those attachments? Yeah, they are now. Anyways, <laughs> then at the bottom we have the magazine, which. Priming back, which the priming handle is big and nice and pretty easy to pull. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you just pull this towards yourself, but your magazine almost falls to the ground. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, great. Uh, this uh, includes magazine. Move the way. And for it, and you fire. Of course, the mag releases on both on both sides. You can like, yeah, okay. yeah, do it like that. Or if you, and th that's great. I I kind of like this. Not my not my favorite, but I like it. Um, this is the handguard, which you can. This aesthetic, mostly. Thankfully, this is the updated version, which I'll talk more about in the conclusion. Uh, the 
the trigger is great. Um, I pull it a bit hard, so the rest of the plastic kind of creaks. So that's probably because it's old and because I'm pulling it a bit too aggressively. The, the size of this grip and the feel is pretty great. Like Coop could like this. I like it. It's good. Anyways, at the back stock attachment point, which I like even more than the barrel attachment point, barrel lug, because <coughs> the stock It's pretty bare bones, literally, <coughs> this is the skeleton of my aesthetic, which I kind of like this stock. It's shorter than the Echo stock, but feels longer, and it's not like, ooh, but it's like straight, so you can just... Put, and actually put your face against it, it's not that comfortable, but I'm not crybaby like my brother who literally can't wear headsets because they like ramp up his ears. Um, you pull it off real nice, and I like this because actually it's grey, which goes great with some of the little 2.0 blasters. So. The barrel is pretty bare bones. I kind of like how wide it is. Kind of makes a bad noise, but it's because it's old. Like I already said, it has this huge notch up here, which like you can look down. Like, aesthetic. Then you have this like muzzle brake, which is kind of cool, and you have an extra rail down here, which. It's for me, I would put like a vertical grip there. Yeah. Yeah. You put in the magazine really damn easily. The priming is super easy. So, yeah, that's about it from the external review. So. Why don't we go to the firing range and I hope this time it's a bit better. At least this time it has range. <laughs> and if you are thinking about it, I am going to buy myself a microphone. Because I kinda need one. And you will also like it. Especially in a game. And, uh, okay, well, why am I in love with this? Let's go, I just broke 8 minutes. Let's go. Firstly, I'll be firing these orange Elite 2.0 darts. Almost said blue darts. <laughs> yeah. It's all good and fire. Now let's fire and hope my sister doesn't come in. Now I'll be firing these blue Elite 2.0 darts, 10 of them to be exact. And let's go. Now you can see some darts right here. Yeah, this is at the uh, 30 feet, so yeah. Then between like 30 and 45, you got a couple of more. Yeah, these are basically where right, they are all ending. And then you got a few here at uh, about 50 mark because the um, wall is just about 60 a bit more, a bit less. So yeah. Let's get to the conclusion. 
Sorry if there's some background noise. Uh, I don't have noise cancelling walls. Noise proof. Sound soundproof walls. Maybe I could do that? Anyways. This time you could see the darts a bit better. Huh. And previous time I filmed at 4K and this time in... Okay, so I'm doing the same. But this time you can actually see them, so I'm happy about that. I also... The last time I forgot to go over them, so I could actually see where they landed. But let's get to the actual conclusion. Firstly about <laughs> their breaking and fixes. What did not work? First I thought like something broke off or it just literally doesn't work and they didn't throw it into the trash, but the thing is you could climb it, you could fire it with everything, but the magazine would get stuck. You would really need to pull so hard that it was kinda like it was breaking. I pulled it out and I'm gonna work to fix it. He said he doesn't need it and if I just fix it, it's mine. And if like he can already use it if he plays with me and he's mainly playing video games on his PS5 so mainly he's not using this. So what have I done? We assembled the mag magazine catch that is inside and sanded it down. <laughs> yes. This is actually the second time I'm doing that. The first time I was doing that was on the mediator. I should have done that because now I you can't use the 18 round. Yay! But this time it's actually good and it worked. Going to put it all together was so ridiculously hard because the trigger will pop out this, I would have to be precision so that I put it on the plunger to... Oh, I literally had two days to fix it and for some reason when I did all that great, I'll prime back, but uh, it wouldn't actually prime. What happened? I put the plunger tube upside down. <laughs> I forget that out by watching a video, so should have done that before. But I did not. <laughs> Ow, this is not too comfortable. Anyways, but I fixed it. One downside to fixing it. That is not normal. And that happened when I tried to use the release. It's actually on the other side. This pushing thing up. My fingers are hurting because I had to do something like this. Anyways, so yeah. But it still works and I have a blast, I have a passion. It's good. Magazine. Yeah. But for my opinion on the blaster itself. First the yeah. Stock? Great. I love it. It looks good. But you could have made it like an inch or 2.5 centimeters longer, then it would be perfect. It would be my go to stock or the Spectre stock, even though it's still my favorite. Then the barrel, barrel, it doesn't have that little dot, so it's a bit wonkier, but I kind of like it. Though, because this plus is so thick. With triple C's, it's kind of looks kind of bad than other blasters, other than the mediator. Even though if it it's like more of a grayish white and it's a pinkish white, it still looks great on each other. So at least that's great. Now the blaster alone, I personally like it because. 
it is smaller than the Echo, it's easier to prime, so especially for other persons to use. But it's also compact and just like more quality feel and more close to the retaliator. That's the problem. The retaliator is basically the same thing. In some ways it's also better. So that's kind of a problem. Especially when this lesson just released. You probably know if, if you're a nerf enthusiast, but if you're not, I wouldn't take magazines such as the 18 and 12 and banana mags because of this bump. Because you go against the guards and you wouldn't be able to put it in. Thankfully, this is not that model and it made it open. And it can go in. Thank God, because this, this firstly it barely fits into the profile. Secondly, it's real great. I like it. But if you do not have this one, firstly, boohoo, that's really bad. <laughs> secondly. I think for some time you could give it back to Hasbro and they would update it. I don't think they still do that. Thank god the banana mag I have does not have that bump, so even if it wasn't this version I would still be able to put it on. But it is the newer version, so I like that. Also, I think I didn't mention the, the door. This the door. Yeah, as you saw so the others. So, overall I think this is good if you don't have a retaliator, but if you have a retaliator, there's no really reason for it. And that's real bad, because I like it. Today if you want to buy this, I think it's kinda hard to find, but you, I did see a lot of MK3s. It's the same look, same everything, different front attachment, different, I think it's the same stock, it has a shield on the top, I'll put a picture if I can, if my wife allows me to. Anyways, this was the review. Next review, probably on the actual blaster axis that I did in the group view and the comparison but then I did a standalone review so gonna do that next and thing I hope is that I finally sell my freaking laptop so I can buy the Nintendo Switch and that I can also buy from Amazon in Germany the Flip 32 blast which I really like and the shock wave which most people don't like but I like it kinda for only 50 dollars. 50 euro. Okay, it's about the same. The Flip 32 in my country costs everywhere from 70 to 100 euro. Basically, double the price of that. So, if I can get enough money for it and I can finally sell my laptop, I'll be happy. Like that's gonna happen anytime soon. Anyways, of course, go to go subscribe to Flohi. He made a gun review, which is appropriate because he names these bullets. Anyways, my name is Nixie. I hope you like this video. Watch some of my other videos, and anyways, my name is Nixie, and bye bye.